Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. I hope you're all well. Uh, if this is your first time that you've seen me this year, I hope you've all had a great Christmas and New Year all through that kind of that holiday season. But we're getting straight into it today and we are looking at the Rovivon A23. Now, I'm a big fan of Rovivon. Rovivon got in touch and asked if I'd like to uh, review the A23 and I snapped the hands off and said yes, I'd love to. Um, it's no secret that I really do think that Rovivon are on top of their game when it comes to these small pocketable flashlights. Um, so yeah, I, I just certainly jumped at the chance to uh, bring another one to you guys so that it's another option for you to look at um, if you choose to. As I usually do, I'll turn the camera around so we can take a close look while I'm doing that. If you do enjoy this content at any point, please feel to hit that likes button and subscribe. That would be absolutely amazing, but for now, let's take a closer look. So as we usually do, we'll go through some measurements, some materials, and then the actual features of the light itself. Now, as far as measurements are concerned, it's a very small, pocketable, pocket-friendly flashlight. So from the, the end here all the way to where you have this uh, little eye hole here so that you can attach a lanyard to this, uh, comes in at uh, 76 millimeters. As far as the width is concerned, it's actually really nice and slim, so it's just 21.6 mm, sorry, 21.5 millimeters in diameter. Skipping a little bit as far as construction, <clears throat> so the, so the um, it's made from uh, 6063 aluminium and is anodized. Now, because it's made and it's fully constructed from aluminium, apart from a stainless steel clip here on the back. Um, it does manage to reduce down a lot of the weight, so it only comes in at 49.8 grams. The module on this, so the version that I have here, this is the uh, this is the Cree version. The the actual module for the LED that is in here is the Cree XPL HD version six. And what this does is give more of a um, a cool light. Now, I know people fall into two separate camps. Some people like the really light white light. Personally, I quite prefer the, the, um, the very sterile white light over the more warm lights. Um, but again, you know, that's, that's just personal choice. But the Cree version that is in here, this is up to 1000 lumens. But there is also a Nichia version, which is the uh, Nichia 219C, which instead of giving the cool white light that this version does, will give more of a natural, um, a natural light. Um, but that is only 700 lumens rather than this being the, um, the, the 1000 lumens. Um, I suppose... Just as an extra point, what you get in the box, although I don't have the box here with me right now, so you get the usual things as you'd expect. There's a lanyard, there's a charging cable, um, and you know, the, the usual kind of things that you'd expect with a light like this. The charging cable actually charges here on the end. The charging cable that comes with it is micro USB, uh, and you have a little plug here that you can pull out. Uh, and there you can see where that charges. It's actually really easy to get them in there. I know some lights, you, they, I mean, they're never particularly difficult, um, but sometimes you have quite a small recess around the charging port. There is a little recess in there if I catch this in the light. Um, however, the vast majority of cables that I have uh, all fit within there. And I think that's, that's the bit that I mean around the difficulty. Sometimes um, they don't have proprietary cables but sometimes they have larger ends to the cables which means um, it can be quite difficult to, to to fit the charger in there one thing I mentioned when I reviewed the a28 was the fact that the, the, the little plug on here there was just a small a tiny little lip around the outside which meant that when when you when you pushed it in after maybe a day or two it, it would just pop out um, very simple to, to fix you just uh, with a sharp knife you can shave the bit off the side um, the molding for this one is it's absolutely spot on you put that in there 
it even has well i'm although i, I, I definitely can't hear it um, but when it when it seats into there it is really nice and snug and for the amount of time that i've been testing this over the last month or two um, i've had no issues whatsoever with that coming out there is a uh, a pocket clip on the back, a stainless steel pocket clip. Now I have seen on the website, it actually says that you can't remove this. There are two screws here at the top. I've not tried to undo it. Um, I wonder maybe if that is something to do with the assembly because I know Rovivon do state that you can change the batteries on here. They are proprietary batteries. Um, so maybe on screwing these screws here at the end for the pocket clip maybe this um, means that it, it, it's part of the construction that holds it together again you know i've not tested that that is purely 100 percent a guess um I, I don't know if if that's true or not but it does say on the website that you, you that the clip is not removable um, the whole action on this um, is all done with this one button here on the front there are double clicks, there are triple clicks, and there are quadruple clicks. But I'm happy to say with this one, and I, I, again, you know, kind of going into different, whether you're a Cree, whether you're a Nietzsche, I think there are also different types of um, operating systems, and especially the user interface with each of those operating systems. I've always found that I do like the Rovivon operating system, or the Ro Rovivon interface, as it is a double click for on. I certainly find that double click for on flashlights um, never accidentally turn on in my pocket whereas single click for ons I have found that they will turn on accidentally in my pocket so I think that's another reason why I, I, I certainly like double click for on and as far as different modes are concerned there is a moonlight a low medium high and turbo mode and there are also some SOS and strobe modes that are all done through this single action button here on the top the first one and the easiest one to get to is if you hold this down from off for a few seconds it will go into the turbo mode now turbo mode is the highest mode on here which is 1000 lumens um, which again you know I'll get back to this because there is there is another way to be able to get to this turbo mode uh, but if you want easy access to turbo keep your finger on it for more than a second and then it will hit your turbo mode um, and then <clears throat> at the actual normal, I suppose normal, to, to, to start this on the low mode, you can double click and it will put it onto the low mode. I generally tend to find that I use the low modes more than I tend to use the higher modes. Um, certainly the low mode and moonlight mode is probably the, light, the, the one that I use the most on most flashlights. But here on low, this is 40 lumens. And from a full charge from the battery, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention, so the battery in this um, is a 600 milliamp hour battery. So from a full charge from a battery on the low mode, you'll get roughly nine and a half hours. Now, because this is double click for on, to be able to get through all of the different modes that are on here, it is just a simple click to be able to cycle through them. So you can see you've got low, medium, high, and turbo. Um, again, I, I think that's why I prefer a double click for on because everything else within it is just a nice, simple, single click. Uh, whereas others, when it's just one click for on and off, um, you, you have to kind of do that whole weird long press thing which cycles through them. And I, I, again, I just find double click for on and then single click to cycle is just, I just find it so much easier. Um, I forgot to mention, so it's also long press to turn off. Okay, so let's get let's get back to the original point. Went off on a bit of a a bit of a tangent there. Let's say, uh, so we have low mode, which is forty lumens for roughly nine and a half hours. Uh, single click again will then bump that up to the medium mode. The medium mode pumps out one hundred and seventy lumens, and you'll get roughly a hundred and thirty minutes out of this. It does a very good job of filling a room. Uh, walking the dog, you can get uh, you, you you can certainly see the dogs uh, at a distance when you're using this um, it's great for that sort of stuff especially if you need to try and find something in the house 
Um, single click again will then take that up to the high mode. The high mode on this uh, is 700 lumens. Now, there are some kickdowns. So if you're in high or you are in, in fact, let me just turn that off a second. If you're in high or if you're in turbo mode, um, you will have a kick down after a minute and a half and it will kick down to 300 lumens. So if I put that back into high again, <clears throat> high is 700 lumens for a minute and a half. After a minute and a half, it will then drop down to 300 lumens and you'll get roughly 110 minutes out of those 300 lumens. The next, if I hit that button again, will then take it up to the high mode, which is 1000 lumens. At the 1000 lumens, you'll have 1000 lumens for a minute and a half. And then after 1000 lumens, it will then drop down to 300 lumens and you'll get roughly 70 minutes out of that. Hit the button again and it will refresh back round to the low mode. Now I did mention that there were some strobes and some SOS's in here. So to get to uh, the strobes, it is one, two, three, and you have uh, your SOS. Now SOS, I think, if I remember rightly, SOS uses uh, the 1000 lumens on here uh, just to make sure you can be seen if you did need to be seen. Now if you needed to bump it from the SOS to the strobe mode, again, because it's, it's triple clicks and you don't have to worry about keeping your finger down on this, you can press it again and it will then bump that into, into the strobe mode. And then it is a double click, uh, sorry, it is a long press again uh, to turn that off. There is one last one on here. So if I do one, two, three, four, here is the moonlight mode. Now, as you can see, I mean, you, you can just see it on my hand here. Um, I find that this is useful, especially in dark rooms when you're trying to find something. So the moonlight mode on this is just one lumen. And at one lumen from a full charge of battery, you'll get roughly 72 hours of light from this. Um, now there's no kick downs because you know one lumen really isn't that bright um, but I find that it is a very serviceable light. I can find most of the things that I'm trying to find with this. Certainly if I'm trying to find something in the dark when I'm getting ready to go to work and I, I don't want to disturb Mrs. Morlander, um, it's a great light. Uh, source to be able to find uh, different things and then again to be able to turn it off it's a long press to turn it off. Now I have brought in this other light and this this really was to compare these two together so here we have the uh, the Rovivon Aurora A23 and here we have the the Rovivon Aurora A28. So as far as size is concerned you know these are exactly the same light. This one is constructed completely from aluminium, whereas this one is structured from uh, a mix of aluminium and um, polycarbonate. This one is the one that comes full of all of the different features with all of the different lights that you can have in here. This one is the one, you know, I, I went out there and I said, I really do think that this is possibly the best EDC light out there. And that's because it is packed full, crazy full of features. However, it's it's been really nice carrying this light instead, mainly because the A23 is the palette cleanser for these feature rich kind of flashlights. There's something just simple to a light that turns on, turns off, and you've got those different modes on there. But Rovivon really do have this great swath of um, options that are available to everybody. So you can go, you can go full beans, or you can go dial it back a bit to have something that is just a little bit more simple. Now, just to show you a few other lights that Rovivon have in their collection as well. So there is also the A1X here. This is fully polycarbonate on this side, but again, you know, it, it follows a similar ethos to the A23 that just just wants simplicity and great, great build quality. Whereas then you also have the smaller Rovivon Aurora A5, which 
jumps over the A1. I've probably got these in the wrong order. I should put them in this order, really, shouldn't I? Um, so the the A5 is similar in features to the A23, where it has all of the UV, it has all of the extra things that have got in there. But again, this is just, a, I suppose this is a great example of all of the different variations in the fact that if you wanted to keep it nice and simple, you know, there's plenty of options that you can go for that has the simplicity and it has the different build qualities. Or you can go for the more advanced that really does throw in everything, including the kitchen sink, um, with different build sizes as well. And I think that is one of the reasons why at the moment, Roviron really are at the top of their game when it comes to these small pocketable flashlights. Now I really do think Rovivon are doing a stellar job at creating a lineup that there is pretty much something for everybody. Whether you want something that has some features that are slightly dialed back so that you still get great flashlight performance in a really good body or whether you prefer to, well that's in the A28 or sorry A23 or whether you go for something like the A28 which has a different style body but you know has got st stacks of features in there but then you have the smaller lights and there's this I think what they've been able to do is produce one, two, three, four lines with so many different variations in each of them that for, for us, especially for us as a consumer, there's just, there's something there for everybody. And I, I remember at the beginning of this piece of content, I said, I really do think that Rovivon are on top of their game when it comes to these small pocketable flashlights. This one's probably just outside the realms that you might consider to be a keychain flashlight. Although, you know, you could still add a couple of keys to this. You have some of the smaller ones. I just think, again, I've probably say this quite a lot, but you, you really can't beat, I think, for the build quality and the price, um, what you get from uh, from these from these Ruby Run flashlights. Now, having said that, I think it's important for me to state, you know, this was sent to me free of charge. However, Rovivon have not paid me to endorse. This isn't certainly isn't a sponsored piece of content. I have a great relationship with them and they appreciate my honest and critical feedback. Um, so all of the opinions given today are 100% my opinions. Um, as it's YouTube, you know, there'll be some affiliate links, so check the links below. You'll be able to see where you can get these from. Um, there'll also be Rovivon's links there as well, so that you can see more from Rovivon. You can see them on social media. You'll be able to see some of my social media posts and, you know, backing up on that, you know, this is, this is YouTube. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. That would be absolutely amazing. One thing that I'm trying to do more this year, if at all possible, if you really could hit that like button, that would be absolutely amazing. It does help with my recommendations and the YouTube algorithm. That would be great. Um, and hey, for now, stay safe, stay Morelander and stay EDC.